something in your life? Let's find out how to do it. I'm Pinchas Taylor, and this is Taylor Talks. Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. We put out these videos every single week, and I hope you'll follow along with us and hit that subscribe button in the lower right. Let's jump right into it. In the Bible, after God brings all sorts of plagues to the Egyptians, he promises the Israelites that he's not going to bring the same afflictions upon them that he brought upon the Egyptians. And at the same time, in the same verse, he says, I am God, your healer. The question is, if he's not going to bring those afflictions, then what do we need healing from? Furthermore, there seem to be times that the Israelite nation and we as individuals, that we've been afflicted. So what does it mean that he's not going to bring the same afflictions that he brought upon the Egyptians? The answer is, is that when God brings something that looks like an affliction into our life, the entire mentality is different than it was for the Egyptians. By the Egyptians, the purpose of bringing the plagues and the afflictions was to destroy them, was an act of punishment. Through God's actions, the Egyptians would never change. When God brings something that we perceive as an affliction though, the very act of the affliction is actually in order to heal us. You ever have a fever and your body temperature gets really high? You feel awful the entire day? Well, we might perceive that as a curse. We might perceive that as getting afflicted. At the same time, the very heating up of our body is what destroys what's really wrong with us. All of the afflictions or all of the perceived afflictions that God brings into our life are also for that purpose, in order to bring a healing, in order to make us change and look upward. God tells us that nothing is brought to destroy us like it was for the Egyptians. In our lives, it's in order to lift us up. The message is clear. Any time in our own life that we feel like we are being afflicted, like superficially that there are challenges or hardships coming our way, we have to remember that embedded in that is God lifting us up and bringing us healing. Thanks so much for watching this week, everybody. I'd like to leave you off with this question. Have you ever had a challenge or really hard time in your life that looking back on it, you saw the blessing of God bringing you up? Let us know in the comments.